should not laugh at that. Just him being naked. Yep. I think I need your heart. Hey everyone! This is Grayson Me here yet again, bringing you another reaction video. Are we excited? Yes, I have actually been waiting to see this one for a while. For once, I know what it is. Yes. And I have been waiting to watch this. What we'll be doing will be Red Dragon, the very first Hannibal Lecter story. And as is the standard, I haven't seen this. So the fact that I haven't seen this is honestly surprising. Yes, you have seen Silence of the Lambs, though. Mm -hmm. You enjoyed Silence of the Lambs. In fact, we're going to be doing a rewatch of Silence of the Lambs right after this. So when you see this one published on YouTube, next week you're going to get Silence of the Lambs. So a little heads up there that you're going to get right now. Uh, but she loved that. She also loved Seven. So she's got a true crime type of, you know, mm -hmm. vibe that she really likes. This is, this what is happens perfect when for you're that. raised on Law and Order. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I think you're really going to like this one. I'm looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to this one for quite a bit. I really liked it when I watched it. I've seen the original Red Dragon adaptation, which was called Manhunter in the 80s. It was the first Hannibal Lecter movie before Silence of the Lambs. And it's not bad. It's got a very 80s vibe to it. But this, I felt, was more close to the book. And, well, it's Anthony Hopkins. They used him a bit more than they did in the other movies. And I like it because of that. You're going to see what I mean. And we're going to talk about it a lot more after we watch the movie. And I look forward to doing that because this is one I would like to talk about. Okay. There's names on here I definitely recognize, like Edward Norton and Harvey Keitel, but I cannot put the faces to the names. Don't get mad at me for it. Oh, uh, don't worry. I'll tell you who they are once we get to them. You're going to recognize a few of them. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. You ready for it? Do the thing. Let's get to it. All right. Red Dragon. Ten years after Silence of the Lambs, though he is starring in the prequel, we'll let it slide. Oh, I don't think he likes that off-key playing by the flute player. Like, he has on a chalkboard to him, probably. Knowing him the way he is, yeah. I do feel a bit guilty enjoying such a lovely evening when one of our musicians is still listed as a missing person. Yes. Hmm. That sounds awful, I know, but... Let's face it, so does the man's playing. <laughs> Thanks. What is this divine looking owl's bush? Is that the missing person? <laughs> Was he saving Chianti? You can also see where the Hannibal series takes some inspiration as well. Most assuredly. He's not collecting body parts. Then why keep them? He's not keeping them, he's eating them. Listen. Tongue, thymus, every single victim lost some body part used in cooking. What's a thymus? Have you shared this with the Bureau? Some type of gland, I think. Mm -hmm. I needed to see you first, but I'm right. You're able to assume the emotional point of view of other people, even those that might scare or sicken you. It's a troubling gift, I should think. <laughs> it's important for profiling, though. I'd love to get you on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> Kinky. Rest you and I'll get your coat. Won't be a tip. Well, he wouldn't hurt Graham, so he's obviously gonna go get his coat. What is standing out to you? Well, I think someone's on to him. Self-preservation. You're in shock now. I don't want you to feel any pain. I regret it came to this wall. But every game must have its ending. Wait. What? I think I'll eat your heart. Tagged him with the arrows. That's not... Yeah, don't go by what you've seen in Hannibal. I'm not going by that. I'm going by Silence of the Lambs. That's not how they arrested him. This looks like he's about to die. Well, I'll tell you now, clearly he doesn't die. This is a yeah. prequel. It's just how they established his capture. He got a little cocky there with Will. And then Will surprised him. They both survived the encounter. And Hannibal ends up locked up. Red Dragon. And we need to see the, the opening credit sequence now with little glimpses of the story, which I miss from movies. Here it comes. Yes. Doctor Hannibal Lecter is Chesapeake Ripper! Interesting, considering that's just below us. And Danny Elfman did the music. Nice. Of course Danny Elfman did the music. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> she figured out what she ate. So is this the story of his capture or his trial? You're getting a recap of his trial. The book is not about his trial at all. He's just an extra character in the book. But since Silence of the Lambs was big, he got a little bit more featured in the new adaptation of Red Dragon. Several years later. Florida. It's a nice place. You've got a beautiful setup here, bro. Yeah, it's good. Two families killed a month apart in their homes. Circumstances were similar. Not similar, the same. He smashes mirrors He's and familiar. uses the pieces. Harvey Keitel. Wears oh. latex gloves, yeah. so we've got no prints. And his blood's AB positive. We typed him from semen. And saliva. He's a secretor. Yeah. Did you ever consider picking up the phone and maybe giving me a call? You've got all the people you need. I'm retired. It wouldn't be very useful to you anyway. I don't think about this stuff anymore. It's the way you think. I've got technicians that can examine evidence, but you've got that other thing. No, you don't like that part of it. Yeah, you wouldn't like it either. We are getting in the mind of a serial killer. Just emotionally hard. I say Jennifer Garner. They were kids. This freak killed the Jacobis in Birmingham full moon. So if we're lucky, we may have a little over three weeks before he does it again. Go to Atlanta and look. Just look. Then help me brief the locals. It's a few days, a week maybe, and I'll be right back. And you believed that? And I've had experience. Yes, you have. Experience that almost killed you. There's a chance that I could help them save some lives. How do I say no to that? That's why these people keep going back to it. Chance to save a life. Even if it puts this their one... family in danger. No, no, I'll be in the back of the pack, Molly, I promise. Never in your life. I know you. <laughs> I love Can't you. blame her. See you in a few days. Where's the dog? No one heard barking. The intruder enters in the dark and cuts Charles Leeds' throat. He shoots Valerie Leeds in the stomach as she's rising, disabling her but not killing her, and turns and goes down the hall. The children were It's hard for him too. The children were still in their beds when they were shot, which might indicate that he used a silencer. He dragged the bodies into the master bedroom, but why bother? Small pieces of mirror were inserted in the orbital sockets of the victims. Why did you put mirrors in their eyes? He misses having the animal to talk to. And he also thought of something. Mm. The, the pieces of mirror make their eyes look alive. He wanted an audience watching him when he when he touched her. He touched her. Touch, touch. Talc about it. There was talcum about it. Mrs. Leeds had traces of talcum found on her right inner thigh. took your gloves off, didn't you, you son of a bitch? You touched her with your bare hand and then you wiped her down, but when the gloves were off, did you open her eyes? But they've already printed the bodies. Not the bodies, tell them to check the eyes. I think he took his gloves off, Jack. I think he had to touch her. Jesus, well. Hey, something. Ladies, this is what the subject's teeth look like. Oh, fucking shark. <laughs> <laughs> Knock it off. He's not wrong, though. Yeah, it's the guy that caught Hannibal. It's a celebrity. This was not random. This wasn't some killing frenzy. He was never out of control. The women carefully chosen. We don't know how he's choosing them, but there is some connection, some common factor, and that's the key. Find out what that is, and we'll save lives. He won't stop. Why not? Because it makes him God. Would you give that up? Was a dog wearing a collar with the lead's address on it? No. Recognize. Him from did Predator. The and if the cat was attacked, the Jacobis might have buried it. So we took out the pets first. It's for you. Crawford. Great work. They found a print on Mrs. Lee's left eye. Partial thumb. Remember me? Hey. Great Hello, first. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Isn't he dead now? Yes, he is. Sadly. One of those ones that. I think it was drugs. Yeah. Yeah. The Tattler is an ass wipe. Stay away from me. He a tabloid writer. How about an exclusive? 
What about that said, yes, I want to do an exclusive for you? That guy snuck into the hospital and took those pictures of me. You remember? Give yourself some credit. When we catch the tooth fairy, that print plus his teeth will burn him. You did that, bro. The evidence was there, Jack. All I'm saying is that was very good work. No, good work would be seeing it all the way through and catching the guy. I can't do that. You know, that, that stuff I just gave them was broad strokes. He's got no face to me. I was stuck on Hobbs. I had help. Mm. Hannibal. From Lecter. Mm-hmm. Yep. If there's something on your mind, come out and say I'm it. I'm just saying maybe we've got a resource we ought to look into. If you know a better shortcut, let me know it. If you think there's any chance you'll talk to me, I'll go myself. If you tell me you can't handle it, God knows I'd understand that. I'm not going to force you. What about your conscience, Will? Kids. He simply Hello, Dr. Timpson. Psychological testing. Rorschach. I'm certain he gets everything that's coming to him at the end of Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> Tell me, when you saw Lecter's murder, their style, so to speak, why do you sound like a fanboy? Did you jot down any impressions? No. He's just looking for things to put in a book. The first definitive analysis of Lecter will be the publisher's wet dream. See? Damn it, man. You must have some advice. You caught him. What was your trick? Luck. I let him kill me. Hmm. <laughs> Animal's own hubris. Became friends with the guy who was hunting him down. My, my, this looks familiar, I don't know. I would hope so. Lying down on this one. Well, he knows who's coming. He doesn't have to be unrelaxed. That's the same atrocious aftershave you wore in court. Did you get my card? They wouldn't give me a home address. Can't imagine why. You say you're a lame man. But it was you who caught me. Do you know how you did it? I need your advice, Dr. Lecter. Birmingham and Atlanta. You want to know how he's choosing them, don't you? If you recall, Will, our last collaboration ended rather messily. I thought you might enjoy the challenge. Find out if you're smarter than the person I'm looking for. Of course he is. Come on. <laughs> you know better than to say something like that to him. Trying to play up to his ego. He knows then that, by though. implication, you think you're smarter than I am, since it was you who caught me. You had disadvantages. What disadvantages? You're insane. I can't tell if he admires that or he hates that. And how is young Josh and the lovely Molly? They're always in my thoughts, you know. I don't think I'll persuade you at all. You either do it or you won't. Hmm, yeah, fair. Goodbye, Dr. Lecter. You haven't threatened to take away my books yet. Give me the file, then. Give it to me. I'll tell you what I think. I'm bored. He's looking for human interaction. And to show off his intelligence in any way. People like that. Just like old times, eh, Will? I can't tell if he's really angry at Will for catching him. Oh, he admires him for being able to catch him. He's angry he's captured, but he does admire the challenge of a worthy opponent. Yeah, and Will didn't just do it based off of luck. He definitely used the process, you know. He figured it out. Forensic scientists they were shouldn't being have eaten. caught that. Yeah. Happened. The, the book was the lucky stroke. That's what clinched it. Yeah, when he just by chance opened that up. I think if he this hadn't opened that up, Lecter wouldn't have killed him. I'd love to meet him. Or tried to. That he may believe he is disfigured? In the mirrors. Of course, those shards in their eyes so he can see himself there. You think the yards might be a factor when he selects victims? Oh, yes. And there will be more of them, of course. You stink of fear, Well, but you're not a coward. Don't you understand, Well? You caught me because we are very much alike. Without our imaginations, we'd be like all those other poor dullards. But I can help you bear it. Trying to manipulate him into becoming a serial killer. Because he was already worried about that standing in the house. You can yeah, see by the yeah. horror on his okay, face as mm -hmm. he pictures things. And also Hannibal likes to play with people. Well, yeah. <laughs> but he wouldn't have anything to play with if the idea wasn't already in his head. Oh, yeah. I don't know, maybe nothing. It's hard to separate his bullshit. Oh, so he's got to check the Jacoby house now for the same stuff. 
Why didn't he break in down there? It's more hidden. Reckon he was in too big a hurry. No, this one doesn't hurry. So why didn't he go through that door? I think he's figuring it out. Cutlin. That looks like it's been worried. Well, I approve of your life choices. I don't know that the pine tree was the best option. Ah. Uh, to give him the view. You sat right here, didn't you? You're proud. You had to sign your work. Not the mark. You didn't see that at the other house. I wasn't looking for it. I find it interesting that Hannibal's field is the one my eldest niece wants to go into. <laughs> she wants to be a forensic psychiatrist, psychologist maybe. Oh, Francis. I've never seen a child as dirty and disgusting as you. Girl, you're hurting me. Shut up, you filthy little I think this might be our killer. Put you in an orphanage, grandson or not. Look down. Do you want me to cut it off? Do you? I'll cut it off. Understand? Good boy. Shouldn't abuse your kids. No matter what. Oh, shit! Adventures. Uh-huh. Just why they won't catch him is easy. I bet you those are hers. <laughs> uh, no. I bet you the teeth are hers, but he'd have to put them in his own mouth. Mm. And make them fit his mouth. These aren't the first two times. Behold, the great red dragon. So the pages were from his book. You gotta keep a nice scrapbook. Oh, I agree, especially one that looks like a murder book. That's actually pretty cool, but... Just like in the community episode, you know, with Annie going through a little scrapbook. Yeah. He hates the name. Looks like somebody's on a docket. Mm. Are we trying to follow in somebody's footsteps? Clearly, there's some admiration. Mm. Game recognize game. Lots of folks can appreciate art in their half finest form, and that's in the eye of the beholder, so... Especially when it's in their particular field. Insane serial killer. That's their field. So nice of you to visit again. He carved this on a tree near the Jacoby house. And what do we make of that symbol? Asian studies at Langley identified it as a Chinese character. For a dragon? It appears on a Mahjong piece. Marks the red dragon. Red dragon? This boy begins to interest me. I'm allowed 30 minutes in here once a week. Get to the point. He broke in through the patio doors. The noise woke Jacoby and he had to shoot him on the stairs. That wasn't planned. It was his first time. Have you never felt a sudden rush of panic? Imagine what you would do, well, if you could go back in time. Put two in your head before you could palm that stiletto. And that's what our pilgrim is doing, evolving. I'll call you if I think of anything else. Would you perhaps like to leave me a home number? That's the end of our session, Doctor. For now. Rest assured, my dear Bo. This one will give you plenty of exercise. You got ten minutes. Talk to your lawyer. Barney. Barney? They had the orderly in Silence of the Lambs. Oh. You return for this, too. Starting now. Him, so much, Barney. Lecter, and Chilton, I think, are the only ones that returned. Uh, Dr. Bloom asked me to send a copy of the psychiatrist from the lower to Will Graham. Gosh, and I have to catch FedEx in about five minutes. I hate to bother Dr. Bloom about it at home. It's right there in their Rolodex or whatever. Uh, I don't know. Give me Will Graham's address. All right, just a minute. Uh, P.O. Box 3680, Marathon, Florida. Marathon. You're an angel. Red Dragon. I'm Francis Dollarhide. I've come for the package of infrared. I'm Raven McLean. Just a second more and I will get you some light. Hello, so, Voldemort. What do you need the IR for? I guess I don't need to tell you that. She's blind. Yep. Hey, Reva. Oh, Mr. T. I'm not interrupting anything here, am I? No, Ralph. If there's anything I hate worse than pity, it's fake pity. Sorry. I have no pity. Because he's a serial killer and can't struggle to get it out. Ride with me. Mandy is a fool. 
Ride with me. For my pleasure. That's a weird way to get a woman into your van. Ride with me. For my pleasure. I say it all the time. You don't have a van. But I say ride with me. For my pleasure. Exactly. Once in your life, and it was right now. <laughs> I love Zeus. One of my earliest memories is seeing a cougar. I didn't lose my sight till I was seven. I wonder if she's actually blind. I don't believe the actress is. If not, she's doing a really good job portraying a blind person. She knows exactly where everything is. She Probably feels was how she does. Okay. Coached a lot in how to actually. Be I'm blind. sure, but it doesn't make it easy to make it look natural. It's good performance. If you don't want to talk to me, that's cool. I know what it's like to have people always thinking that you're different. That's good. I want to know if you're smiling or frowning. <laughs> I want to know whether I should just shut up or not. Take my word that I'm smiling. I have to go. Still self-conscious about how he looks. Well, when you're but that's for the grandmother like his. That's also probably why he's drawn to her. Yeah, but I still don't have she can't she's see the monster he is. He feels probably. Or she just is someone else who understands what he's gone through. Or that too as well. Ridicule him. Sure. A note hidden in Lecter's cell. Sounds like a fan letter. Might have been mailed by the tooth fairy. Does Lecter know we have the note? Not yet. It was found during a routine cleanup. Can he see his cell from there? No. But he's already been there almost half an hour. We got him by time, Jack. Pull the circuit breakers on Lecter's hall. We we'll walk down the hall past the holding cell carrying tools. Too busy to answer any questions, got it? We'll need hair and fiber, latent prints, then documents. Let's go, people. Game time. Why do they want it back in his cell? To not let him know that they're onto the note and the message. I don't believe you're telling who I am. The important thing is what I am becoming. I hope we can correspond. I have admired you for years and have a complete collection of your press notices. They do like to sling demeaning nicknames, don't they? Every day something breaking. I swear they all Instructions for answering were probably in the section that Lecter tore out. I don't get it. Why not just throw the whole note away? It was full of compliments. Three T's and an R in Tadler. So how do you communicate through a tabloid? You got what? New stories? Personals. Could be it. We're gonna need proofs of those pages before the next Tadler's published. Okay. Investigator Graham interests me. You should have taught him not to meddle. If I hear from you next time, I might send you something wet. Until then, dear doctor. He knows. Of course he knows. Mm -hmm. One loop, one seven. Code. Has to be. I'm thinking it's a book code. Book code? It could be the page number. The paired numbers after that could be line and letter, but what book? What about Sweat and Lecter? They tried sodium amytal on him three years ago, trying to find out where he buried a Princeton student. He gave him a recipe for dip. <laughs> it's too good for that. I'm leery of letting Lecter's message run without knowing what it says. I said let this one run. What if it encourages him to do something besides write? You don't think he'd send the tooth fairy after Graham's family? I don't know. We'll see. I mean, if you were Hannibal, what would you send him? I mean, it would keep Graham in play. He seems to want Graham back being an FBI agent. S putting his family at risk would do that. Oh my god. I solved the code. You need to know what it says right now. Graham home, Marathon, Florida. Save yourself, kill them all. Yeah, you're right. The bull that just broke the code. Left to give the bastard your home address. Where can we? Will? Will! Well, at least they got to his family, so they're safe. Molly's gonna be pissed. This wasn't supposed to happen. He was only supposed to be a consult. They were supposed to be safe. She's gonna be furious. Finding his hotel room's gonna be easier than finding his house in Florida. Now they turn like a witness protection type of thing and they hide her. I hate this. Well, I am. Um, I'm sorry. You're doing that with forces right there? That one obviously wasn't gun trained and not happy about this. Trained your wife well. Once her to protect herself. 
Knowing how to use a gun and being able to use a gun are two different things. I think we ought to give him a story. The Tooth Fairy's ugly, and he's impotent with members of the opposite sex. No wonder the creep's such a loser, right? <laughs> Trying to bait him. Uh, that's a tip we got from Dr. Lecter, by the way. Right, so it's true that Lecter's actually helping with your investigation. The doctor was offended that a bottom-feeding lowlife like the Tooth Fairy would consider himself in the same league. Just remember, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. He and knows it's true. Uh, draws the fairy in any kind of attack on Graham, and you nail the scumbag, I get an exclusive. Better he comes after me than Molly and Josh. Molly and Josh disagree. They don't want them coming after you either. You again? Come back at 4 a.m. when I open, all right? Hey! Hey, I told you! What? Dude, let it go. He paid. You never know. Maybe he's a serial killer. Interesting that they chose to reveal the identity before Graham caught him. Well, in silence, you get to see Buffalo Bill before he's caught. Yeah, that's different, though. Is that your fucking name on the sign? Oh. Is that your fucking neck on his knife? <laughs> didn't like that story all too well. Mm, still alive. Ow. You glued him to stuff. Don't, naked. Don't want him moving. To the wheelchair. Not fully naked, but close enough. <laughs> I haven't seen your face. I couldn't possibly identify you. Do you know who I am, Mr. Lowndes? And I, I don't want to know. He already knows he's in a fuck situation. I think you know now. Don't you? I don't need to see you. No. You're a reporter. You're here to report. Open your eyes and look at me. No. I'll staple your eyelids to your forehead. No. Oh my dear God, Jesus. That's how do you work. No. Do you want to know what I am? I was afraid to ask. Do you see now? Yeah, I see. This is Jacoby reborn. Do you see? Help me. Why did you write lies, Mr. Lowndes? Graham told me to lie. But fear is not what you owe me, Mr. Lowndes. You owe me all. Read. You did very well. You let me go now? There is one more way I could help you to better understand. I'm really going to be fair. I won't say anything to get me the fuck out of this. Hello? Mm. <laughs> I should not laugh at that. Just him being naked. Yep. Oh. I must be naked when I bite you. I am a dragon. Nom, 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 nom. Mm. Well, so much for Mr. Lowe. He burning. Uh, You have to have a van or a panel truck to move Lowndes around in that big old wheelchair. Does it strike anybody that he set this up in one hell of a hurry? He either lives in the Chicago area or he's within a driving radius of, call it six hours. Start with the airports and all night newsstands. Maybe some newsie remembers an odd customer. Or this I'd say so. You're doing it right. Going at it from every angle. That was just a chance to show off. It doesn't even fit his pattern. The leads and the Jacobis are, are what he needs. Lecter picked up on something in the missing part of that note. Something. Enough to narrow the search. Even if you did, he won't tell you. That was most artistic, the way you disposed of the annoying Mr. Lowndes. <laughs> tell me, Will. Did you enjoy it? Your first murder? Of course <laughs> you did. And why shouldn't it feel good? It does to God. First he kills the pet, then the family. Freddy was your pet. They're safe now. No one will ever be safe around you, Will. Who's Freddy? Rounds, the gun watcher. Yeah. And that blackout was an especially nice touch. What else was in that note, Doctor? Put me next to him. Give him a chance to kill me. I'm waiting, Doctor, or maybe you've got nothing left to sell. He's always got something left to sell. Give me what I need. How is he choosing the women? The answer was right in front of you. You looked but didn't see. Bullshit! Just tell me. No. <laughs> you have to earn it, Will. You ready to tell me what kind of outing this is? <laughs> no. Can you smell him? 
Yeah. Now he's a little noisy, but he's sedated. Tiger. Uh, sure. Take your time. Oh, sweet. I hate it when serial killers are sweet. Too humanizing? A little bit. Well, they're not always monsters. That's the sad fact of life. There's still a human there. Yeah. It's not often you get to pet a tiger. No. Kitty! Big kitty. Did you just... <laughs> you just felt that tiger's junk. Didn't even take it out to dinner first. Why don't you try this? If she tried, she'd be dinner. <laughs> He did come from money in the book, so that's why it's a nice place. Nine steps from the front door to the clock, and three more to this room. I don't think anybody knows you at all, D. Did they tell you how I look? You have a remarkable body. You're very sensitive about your face, but you shouldn't be. If you are as strong as you look. I said I didn't know. <laughs> he was a straight up bodybuilder type in the book. That's why they, sh they showed him within the weights earlier. Part of his red dragon transformation becomes strong. Probably as well. He's probably never had this type of affection in his life before. Not from a living, breathing woman. I have to do a little work. No, I'll go. I want you to be here. It's just a tape I need to watch. Bro, you could have kissed her back earlier. Probably afraid. Prepping for his new family. What's it about? Some people I'm going to meet. It's what? It's a corporate promo, some kind of homework? Yeah. It's a good idea. I think she wants something from you. Are you him? My goodness, are we just being bold, aren't we? Yes, my friend, you are bold. But are you also daring? When's the last time she got any? She's not there. He was expecting her to be there. Well, she's not gonna see anything. Things. Just gonna run around your house naked. Ooh. Bring noodle. Mm hmm. No, I won't give her to you. She just went for a walk. He's just. just for a little while. He wants to protect her. It's mentally insane. So much butt. <laughs> she's nice. She's okay. Let's if the red dragon's speaking to him. No, surely you're not gonna do that. It's just a little bit fucked up, you know? Just a little bit. The murders might have been the first clue. Might have. I had a really terrific time last night, Dee. But this morning, you seem like a different person. I have to go away. Where? On a trip. Get out, now. He's trying to protect you from his other... It's obviously got a... From the dragon within. A split personality issue there. Yeah, something like that's happening to him. Huh. Gave him a you meal. Know, how many more times are we going to watch this? It's something about these home movies. Like, they keep saying, you looked but didn't see. Well, we can't afford to let, let the wisdom. No, no. Again. Right there. 
that's what he wanted the bolt cutter for, to cut that padlock and go in through the basement. Jacoby had a new door installed. Think he cased the house while the old door was still there? He brought the bolt cutter, didn't he? He, he was sure he'd need it. Jack, he knew the inside of the houses. How do you know the inside of the houses? I don't know. The original. Remarkable, isn't it? Just a reward for helping Will. What's Bye. the show? Yes, for dinner and a show. Hmm. What's the show? He's gonna take the painting. My god. It's gonna consume the dragon. I wonder what they made it out of to make it, make it edible for this actor. Just a little crazy. A little? Just a little. The dog had no collar in a neighborhood full of dogs, but he knew which one was theirs. Same with the Jacoby's cat. He knew the layout, he knew how to get in. How did he know? He needed to know. It was on this. Oh, Jesus. Figured it out. I need to know if one of the things he took was a home video. It's Chromalux. That's the link. We just got a fax. Guy attacked two employees and get this. Ate the plate painting. That's him. It's gotta be. Why destroy it? Why to consume it. those two women at the museum? He's changing. Maybe he's trying to stop. Coming the dragon. Graham's there. He has his eye to him. What's he gonna do now? Mr. Crawford. I can't just turn you guys loose on their files, not without a court order. We're looking for a white male, 25 to 35. He might have some kind of facial disfigurement. That sounds like Mr. D. Oh my god. Who's Mr. D? He maintains the equipment for tape transfers. Would he have access to people's home videotapes? He has access to every tape that comes through here. Dollar Hyde is really as moody as you say he is. Maybe you ought to keep a little distance. Have a great vacation. Thanks. See you in a week. And now he thinks that she's cheating on him. So much for Ralph. Ralph, just because I'm feeling vulnerable. Wake up. And show up to somebody. Did you do that? Do you? He thinks maybe she led roll to her. He wants you, Reba. You're scaring me. Shh. I didn't want to give you to him. You made me weak. And then you hurt me. And have her! Please, please don't let him have me. You like me. I know you like me. Take me with you. Feel this. That's a shotgun reba. A 12 gauge magnum. Do you know what it'll do? You felt so good. So did you, D. It's all over for me. He'll hurt you so bad. I can't let that happen. I'll shoot you and then myself. Oh, dear, no. Can't do it. He did it to himself. Here, poor woman. Now she's got to get out of there. She can't see. She knows the steps to the front door. To the door. Yep, she's kind of. What the hell is that? That's the place. There, she got out. Oh, Francis Dollarhide, where is he? He's in there. He's dead. He's dead. He shot himself in the face. I put my hand in it. You ain't getting in there, sweetheart. Well, hey, at least you won't have to visit this one in jail. All right, that's all I need. <laughs> I'd like to come back again before I leave town. Who could resist a charm and wait me? Hey. Whatever part of him was still human was only kept alive because of you. You, you didn't draw a freak. Okay, you drew a man with a freak on his back. I should have known how. Oh, no, so sometimes you, you don't. I've been there myself. <laughs> yes, he has. There was plenty wrong with Dollar Hyde, but there's nothing wrong with you. No. Except your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Way to break the tension. Oh, nice. We found this in his safe. 
Wait, I want to get the first look. You've earned it. A serial killer scrapbook. Is it still called a scrapbook if it's a serial killer? Does it get its own special name? I don't know. I guess that the prize trophy for any investigator tracking down a serial killer who keeps one. When I read his journal, it was sad. It was just so sad. He wasn't born a monster. This guy was made one through years and years of abuse. Jack, those remains you found in the rubble. They're not dollar hides. And whose are they? St. Louis PD is looking for a Chromalux employee named Ralph Mandy. <laughs> He's there. What is taking him so long? That's Ralph's face he shot. Hey, Josh, what are you doing? I think Will knows now. Don't hurt the kid. Please don't hurt the kid. Drop it. Do it now, Gumshoe. Your son is about to change. You can watch. Oh, you can't take care of yourself. Poor baby. Look at you. I've never seen a child. As disgusting as you. Dirty little beast. You want me to cut it off? Is that what you want? Just trying to trigger him. Hey, I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm a dirty little beast. I'm a freak. Say it. I'm a dirty little beast. He's now she protective. And no one will ever love me. Got him away from his kid. Smart man. Some clever thinking. And having him a backup weapon. Hmm. I ain't gonna hold. Sturdy door there, Sparky. Your wife is still out there, bro. I would have moved around in front of the door and then started shooting. Well, Molly, get down! She's smart. Nicely shot, madam. Baby, you got him in the head. He's he's gone now. She's making sure. Listen, I get that, but she had she had it in the first shot. Well, Will's not dead because he shows up in Silence of the Lambs in a phone call, right? I think he's referenced, but yeah, right. He doesn't die. My dear Will, you must be healed by now. See? What a collection of scars you have. Never forget who gave you the best of them. <laughs> Our scars have the power to remind us that the past was real. Any rational society would either kill me or put me to some use. Well, they've been putting me to use. Yep. Your old friend, Hannibal Lecter. I guarantee you, though, that was the last case he'll ever work on. So far it is. He comes back and the guy almost kills his family. Hannibal, there's someone here to see you. Wants to ask you a few questions. I said you'd probably refuse. <laughs> a young woman says she's from the FBI. I wonder who. I'll tell you said no. What is her name? Nice. And credits. Very cool. Very cool. All right, so that was Red Dragon. The very first Hannibal Lecter story by Thomas Harris, which was filmed for the second time at this adaptation with Anthony Hopkins. So, what are our thoughts on this one? It was everything I'd hoped it'd be. Ah, well, Lies! It wasn't everything I hoped it'd be. But I kind of hoped it was a prequel to where he caught Hannibal and not just catching Hannibal. Well, you only got a little bit of that, but that's but... because on the main story, he was not that involved. I get that. Yeah. But at the same time, besides the TV show, I want a good movie. <laughs> That story is worth telling, and I. You mean you want a good movie? That's the good movie. Silence of the Lambs is a good movie. Hannibal no, is the. No, I movie. want. There she has a movie called Hannibal. Yeah, there is. I wasn't crazy. Okay, I thought there was, but that's not his prequel story. It's like a sequel. No, it was the one after Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. Um, I want a prequel story, the catching of Hannibal. Not just the end of it. Well, pretty much your best adaptation is going to be Hannibal the series. I get that, and I don't have to be happy about it. I did like the series, don't get it's me wrong. It's a great series. Matt Mickelson did a fantastic job as a young Hannibal. Mm. I loved that. But... You want just a movie, not a whole series. And I want series. Anthony Hopkins. And you want, well, he's not going to be I in know. any prequel now. <laughs> Dude's like 80. I know, and I'm aware of that, and I can be sad about it all I want. Anyway, 
this, once I realized it wasn't going to be a prequel of Catching of Hannibal. Still a prequel of Silence. everything I hoped it would be because it showed how he worked with um, Graham, who I got to see in the Hannibal TV series. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that was a different actor. But uh, I got to see how they interacted, which is different than how he interacts with Clarice. Indeed. He is ever the gentleman with Clarice. He is a little bit rougher with his, his buddy, Will. Well, he sees Will, I think, as more of a peer, but maybe also more of an adversary in some ways, the one who caught him. Not, I don't but think like, he sees him as an adversary. Like a friendly one, like your your Like your the other. guy you play chess with. Yeah. He sees okay. him like that, like his opponent that he likes to uh, spar with. And when he got to Clarice later, he kind of viewed her as more of, hmm, you're new, but I will help guide you. Oh yeah, I kind of felt like he had the teacher vibe with Will as well. Oh, always. He's always like, got that. He's going to have that vibe Will because he always his... feels he's always above anyone. Will is his Nightwing. <laughs> okay. Clarice is more the Batgirl that he feels he needs to protect of a sort. Is kind of the vibe yeah, I get. He sees the that. same potential there and he wants to guide her. Mm -hmm. Like Will is the trained apprentice that is now starting to teach the master just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Which is why they can play chess and he can't. He's coming the fully outcome. under his own, and you know, mm -hmm. Handel's proud of that. You yeah. Know. Um, you can tell by the fact that he's like, you're a scar, just remember which one's the best one. Obviously, because I gave it to you. <laughs> of course. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, definitely his Nightwing. But he views him with more respect than I think Batman does Nightwing for a while. Like, he's newly Nightwing here. And he already views him as a peer that he has worthy of respect, but not quite admiration yet. So there's still some things that obviously Will doesn't see by the, will you just fucking tell me already instead of figuring it out for himself? Whereas He's like, no, Hannibal's you must like, earn I will this. never make this easy. I've already for given you. you enough. Yes. Work for it. Very much a, a Feeny And he does the same with Carice and Silence. He's yeah. like, yeah, everything you need is right there in the case file, and then she earns it. Yeah. He is, he is very much a, he is not going to handicap you to help you. You must think of it yourself. And I think that is an admirable quality of a nemesis. Yeah, and a at teacher. most he'll tell you where to look, but he won't tell you what to see. Right, because if he does, it'll color your view. Mm -hmm. and Which is very different than the serial killer we just watched, who literally guided his victims to everything he wanted them to see. Yeah. It's, it's unique, and I like it. No one has done as well-rounded a serial killer as Hannibal, I think. They definitely are the cut of the same cloth with the one we watched with uh, Behind the Mask. But... Okay, I see. He's more of a, I'll lead you to water and then you can decide if you're gonna drink or you're gonna throw it in my face. Mm -hmm. Hannibal's like, I'm not leading you to anything. Here's some things I'm just gonna put in front of you here. Now I'm gonna watch what you do with them. And I like that about it. I like that they're very similar, but at the same time, very not. Yeah. Also, I like pretty much anything to do with Hannibal Lecter because he's so well-rounded and so complicated. With he's got how... layers like an onion. Yeah, but like with how in Silence of the Lambs, he gets mad at his soulmate for shooting cum in Clarice's face. That was- He really found it vulgar, and then he the... manipulated him into killing himself. The most gentleman serial killer you will ever meet. He'll do you in with respect and dignity, so long as you give him the ability to give you some respect and dignity. But he's still gonna kill you. If he gets the chance. Especially if you play off key at a concert. Yeah. How, How dare. dare. <laughs> you ruin the finer things in life. And that is definitely something he appreciates. He's kind of the penguin of serial killers, if Penguin was actually successful and wasn't trying to be part of high society. Penguin's a bit more of a gangster type. Penguin was a bit of a gangster type. He was more of a mom boss. Yeah. Especially if you watch Gotham. <laughs> yeah. Hannibal, he's very solitary and like he does his own thing, does it his way. But he still wants to be part of that high society. Yes. Very high standards um, part of life. Like you would never catch him eating at McDonald's. He's got class. Hmm? He has standards. Very, very high standards. Even his morality standards, you he, he expects everyone to be on his level, and when they aren't... They must be eaten. Well, 
not necessarily well, eaten. It's only those that eaten, truly ignored disgrace or disposed things of. that he finds to be important must be eaten and disposed of. Mm. The rest of society that doesn't truly cross his path, like he's not going to go to a park and wait for somebody to be a disgraceful human being. They have to no. come across his path naturally and be so perverse to him for him to go, no, this one. And I like that. I like serial killers with standards. You're not just going out and finding blonde whores, you know? No, no. We need standards after all. Can't just get a blonde whore. Well, I mean, some can, but like, <laughs> he, he's well-rounded. He's complicated and I like that. I like the complexity of him. He's got, I keep repeating myself. Anyway, uh, I like that he's not simplistic. I also Certainly like not. that this guy that he helped him catch was also in that vein, not simplistic. No, that's a the thing. They, they, in this series, they present the serial killers knowing that they're not just completely insane or they're just doing evil for evil's sake. There's a purpose to what they do. There's a need <coughs> that they need to fulfill. And they're methodical and take their time and do their research and plan everything out to the last detail. It's not impulsive unless they're getting caught and like, oh shit, something's happening. Then you have to do something impulsive in that instance. But like before they're caught... Like with your grandmother's wheelchair. Yes. When they're planning everything out, it's very deliberate. I like that. I think the... The ones that have to think it through, they're the, the mm. ones that you really need yeah. to worry about and to fear, but mm. I think they're also the most interesting. But that's also how he got caught in this, because he was so deliberate in planning everything out, they realized, wait, watching the video, he had to have known that to bring that, otherwise he wouldn't have brought the bolt cutters. So they, that's when they realized, wait, so a he lot works in the place. Really, the best serial killers that aren't going to get caught are the ones that pick people at random. Honestly, that's the way. You do it randomly, you don't plan it out. And you never ever pick somebody you know. Never. That's why it's good to be besties with a serial killer if yeah. they're there's a, a serial killer. There's a movie called Henry Portrait the Serial Killer where it's kind of about a character like that. He just kills people at random. And that's how he never gets caught. I mean, that's the smart way to do it if you're going to do it. I love how we're sitting here talking about it. <laughs> if I were a serial killer. If I were a serial killer, I wouldn't get caught. And that's how. You can find the bodies all you want, you'll never find me, mwahahaha. Better yet, though, is if you don't find the bodies, because then yeah. there's no crime. Yeah. I think it'd be kind of interesting to be like a forensic investigator, or, uh... Like a forensic... Forensic, uh... What's the thought? S psycho... Psychologist or psychologist, psychiatrist? Psychiatrist, like a somebody... forensic psychiatrist... A profiler, like a... Criminal uh, profiler. Forensic psychologists or psychiatrists can be profilers, or you can just have profilers. Yeah, like an investigative uh, person like Will, where you're trying to get in the mind of a serial killer. Will is a profiler. He's not a forensic psychiatrist. Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah, I know there's a lot of nuance and difference in the aspects of this, but that role that he partakes in, and same as Clarice when you try to figure out why somebody's killing and how to catch them. That's very interesting to me. Yeah, trying to get inside the mind of a killer and do why they do what they do and yeah. what they'll do next, how to... Like like Will, in the end of the movie, used the lines from the journal to fuck with the guy's head enough that he wanted to protect the kid, not hurt him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you, you were right. Made him so what instead of threatening him, he's like, then he's like protecting him because now he's identifying with the kid. Right. And that was the smartest thing he could have done. And I'm glad that his kid at the end of it realized, oh, daddy didn't mean those. Oh, if he didn't, he daddy would have told him. I'm sorry, you know why I said that? I, I know, yeah. and uh, later, but yeah. the kid had enough sense that when dad said run, he's like, oh, okay. I mean, you don't have to tell him twice. The guy had a freaking no, to him. No, that has happened before where the kid is just like complete shock and shuts down. They're children, man. They're he was. Not... He did pee his pants, too, yeah. He peed his pants before he walked in the room. I know. He was scared shitless. He was terrified. Baby girl. She's like, the movie's done. Are you guys finished? You are very good at being in oh. the way, my love. You know that? Thank you. This is Raven. You too. Those you have seen her in other before. videos. And she's quite I... needy, especially 
She doesn't know anything about being Especially once we're done the movie. She's like, you guys are done, now pet me. And she's an hour late to eat her dinner. Ugh, well that, I'd be annoyed about that too. Ugh, mm. oh, she's a good girl. Mm -hmm, baby. She's really fluffy, fluffy. But I figured if I pulled her up here, she wouldn't knock the tripod. Yes, <laughs> don't knock the tripod down. Yes, you get the, the human's affection. Oh, but can you not stand up my platter? Yes, watch them pulls. Watch them pulls. Yes. Ugh. We were talking Although, about speaking of that though, if any serial killer did target us and they went for my dog, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you better hope I don't realize it. Because if you come for me after you hurt my dog, oh, mommy would rip them to shreds. Yeah, you'd they be just like Ram's wife, pieces. keep shooting. I wouldn't stop with shooting. Yeah. I'd be picking up the knife and they'd be picking up small chunks. This is my dog. Mm -hmm. I don't have kids. This is what I have to protect. She's a good girl. Right? Yeah. There's your pupper. Yes. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so, Red Dragon, that is a great tale in the Hannibal Lecter mm -hmm. saga, based on the first Hannibal Lecter book. Mm -hmm. This was the second movie made, and I prefer this one to the original, mainly because it does have Anthony Hopkins, and I like I the style. I think he is a great person a to portray that particular yeah. character. Don't get me wrong, again, I loved Matt Mickelson. He Mads was great. Mads was great. He had a whole series to yeah. get into the character. He did. Um, and that really helps. But I love Anthony Hopkins' portrayal of it. Won an Oscar for it, so. Be better of. I mean, come on. Yeah. And Especially that's... for Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, and Silence of the Lambs is one we will be rewatching pretty much right after this. Uh, you'll, half an hour. Yeah, you'll see it <laughs> next week, but we're going to watch it again because we want to stay in this <laughs> mode. It's a I... big one. We want to watch it and we also want to talk more about that one in particular we've talked about red dragon we've now we're going to do silence of the of lambs. Silence we had a little bit but we, we want to do uh, talk about it further because we haven't even brought in buffalo bill bit. yeah so we didn't even talk about him yet so um but yes. we are going to be doing that next and so it's such a twist in my arm to get me to watch true crime <laughs> i know you love them so I do. this is the only horror that i really get excited about <laughs> so if you want to see that one uh don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already it'll pop up next tuesday most likely it's when we release every new video some fridays but pretty much it's a tuesday release yes. schedule so uh stay with us subscribe and uh, we have a patreon if you want to give us money and see it earlier <laughs> you, you have that vote. option have more of a say or if you really want to spend us a lot of money you can even uh Pick what movie we watch. Ask Full Moon about that. Oh yeah, that patron subscriber. Yep, we Good do. Good girl, you didn't knock over the tripod. Good girl. Yeah, you can subscribe to a certain tier to select a movie for us to do every Within month. Within reason, there are limits, folks. There are reasons, they're listed. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we look forward to having you guys for the next video, which will be Signs of the Lambs. Yes. It will be, all right, until then. Stay spooky. Bye.